It is a muggy Sunday afternoon. Good on the Reds, by the way, for deciding to move this game up. Not often enough that uh, moves like that get made when there's a very clear weather forecast coming, but they move it up by an hour and a half, give the best chance of getting this game in today with the worst weather coming later this afternoon. We saw him oppose the top three for the Dodgers at Dodger Stadium. He got Mookie Betts. He walked Shohei Otani, got a fly ball out. From Freddie Freeman. Smokey Betts steps in. Dodgers and their traveling road grays. Dodgers across the chest. Betts starts this one with a base hit into left center field. Same way that he began yesterday's game. Up to Shohei to keep it going right here. Otani grounds on right side. Off Steer's glove. Backhand India. Back to Steer. That's a rare 3 4 3 put out. And the scoring position goes Betts. Has some fun with De La Cruz down there. Freddie Freeman overall this year, overall in his career, one of the best situationally, but struggling lately. Soft one here to De La Cruz, and Freddie's now four of his last 27 with runners in scoring position. Suter's done his job, so David Bell coming out to make the pitching change. Suter got through the two lefties, Otani and Freeman, and now they'll go to the bullpen, bringing a right-hander to face Teoscar Hernandez. It sharply lined to third and caught by Espinal. So the inning's over. The Dodgers strand a runner at second. We go to the bottom of the first. Yamamoto's numbers, if you toss out that Korea start, unbeaten with a 238. Fastball gets her to beats. I mean, I'm not really interested and what somebody's done over the last year or over their career. I want to know what they've done, you know, in the last couple of weeks because when I face them, that's what they're really going through. Right-hander dealing with De La Cruz. A windy day here at Great American Ballpark with storms bearing down on us. Strikes him out on three pitches. Got him twice on that curveball, just unable to pull the trigger. Firmer curveball right there, up to 80. Steer smacks one to left center. Down to the wall. base in six straight and sopping with power in that time. Now Jake Fraley bats with Steer at second and two away. Swings and misses. Chases that splitter that just dives away from him and three K's in this first inning for Yoshi. Well the Reds are excellent at fielding fly balls which we saw in the first game of this series. They're the worst team in baseball at turning grounders into outs. Here on Espinal here's Gavin Lux. Hard ground ball Espinal. De La Cruz. Double play. Five, six, three. Erasing the leadoff air. Always nice to have De La Cruz turning that double play because you know you're going to get that rocket arm. And that was a close play. He put it right on the money. Check swing, seemed to go. Appeal confirms. First strikeout for Martinez. One on one out. Here's Espinal. Got him swinging on that curveball. Fourth K for Yamamoto. Feeling frisky with that curveball so far early on. He swings. It's a ground ball right side. Long way to go to the glove side for Lux. He spins, throws to first, and that's the end. A good play by Gavin Lux. And that, folks, is a three up, three down third for Nick Martinez. We are scoreless. Bottom of three coming up. With the score, the Dodgers nothing, Reds nothing. As Benson swings and misses, he's down on strikes. Strikeout number five for Yamamoto. And with one out, the Reds have runners at first and second for Spencer Steer. Curve grounded to third. Hernandez, what a play. <laughs> wow. The timing you've got to have to make that play. I, oh, I think he got into no man's land right there. It just kind of, he threw that glove up, and, and fortunately it went in there. And it's on the ground. Diving snagged by Lutz. The throw can't get him. Gavin Lux, nice play, diving to his right. He saved the run by making that play, but his throw pulled Freeman off the bag at first, and I would imagine that's a base hit for Jake Fraley. It will load the bases. And now the stage set for Jonathan India. Chopped right side, and that gets through. De La Cruz scores. Furious windmill for Steer. He scores. India plates a pair, and the Reds take a 2 nothing lead. India will take off for second base, and he will make it easily. Here's a looper in the left center field. It's falling fast, and it's in there for a base hit. The Reds will score two more. Four to nothing. Oh, you love to see that. Oh, as soon as Betts looked up, I thought that baby's dropping, and it did. Betts was the only one that might have had a chance there. No chance for Pajes, the center fielder for the Dodgers. No chance for Teoscar Hernandez. Second time since his first start of the year that he's given up more than three runs, earned runs, that is, in a start. Got him swinging with the curve, and that finishes the inning. A chip shot into the corner for a two-out double for Teoscar Hernandez. 
There is inclement weather inbound a wide band of storms that look to be about 25 minutes away. Paez down swinging and they're over for their last 20 in these situations for Yamamoto and he matches the strikeouts he had in his last outing Monday against Arizona. One two three go the Reds we go to the fifth. That's a three up three down fifth halftime at Great American Ballpark relatively close play with De La Cruz taking his time. This game's official with the Reds up four to nothing. So the four side will go three to six that'll be the second out of the inning and Fraley aboard on the four side two outs. And Jonathan India is coming up on a 2 1 from Yamamoto. It's his 100th pitch and it's popped into right field for Jason Hayward. That'll send this game along to the six. Good news Reds are up four. We are through five. Bad news the tarp is, as you can see, being yanked over. And it looks like the tarp monster did get one member of the grounds crew who got undercut and is trying to army crawl a path to freedom. Well, welcome back to Cincinnati Great American Ballpark after rain delay. Well, the rain has gone. At least the first wave of rain. Taking over in the sixth inning is going to be Carson Spires, 26 years old, out of Greenville, South Carolina. Pitched at Clemson and made his major league debut late last season. He's pitched in three games for the Reds this year. Swing, there's a Soft tapper towards short tough play De La Cruz fields throws on the run and he got him. Great play Ellie De La Cruz charging in from short fielding that ball throwing almost in the same motion as he fielded it in that throw right on the money. Strike three called got him looking fastball right at the very top of the zone and Mookie Betts was just a spectator. And with two outs Shohei Otani is the batter. And strikes out Otani. One two three sixth inning for Carson Spires. And the side is retired in order. On to the seventh inning in Cincinnati. It's the Reds four Dodgers nothing. Hernandez with his second double of the day. And the Dodgers with their first base runner since his first double. All right so out there again runner in scoring position. Pajes up at the plate. The deep right center handled in stride by Fraley. Hernandez was halfway. He has to retreat. There is strike three. Fastball up and away. Lux goes down. Swinging a scoreless inning for the Dodgers here in the seventh. He walked his last time up and he will walk again here this time albeit intentionally. So you've got Fairchild at second. Steer now at first base, and it'll be Jake Fraley at the plate, who's one for three. Roll to second. Gavin Lux will scoop it up, throw him out, and after seven innings here in Cincinnati, including a couple scoreless from Bonda, it's four to nothing. Espinal has been on base 11 of his last 12 games with that knock. Espinal has a two out single. Up and in, got Maley. He crumples down, and they immediately wait for athletic trainers. Maley's already been hit on the hand once. Where did this one get him? And that got him. Bases loaded. Back to back Reds hit by pitch. Rips one to right field. Hayward is there to catch it. He records the final out. And Otani's on here in the ninth. Fairchild lays out, can't get it, and Dodgers get on the board. Freddie Freeman headed to second with an RBI double, and it's four to one. Dodgers down to their last out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that's it. Reds win it. Four to one over the Dodgers. They sweep L.A. and take the season series from the Dodgers. First time they have swept the Dodgers since May of 2018.